You can count on my steel. I think oh, wherever you move, you wolves will up, attack you. Wolves are coming. <laughs> wolves are coming. Wolves are only spawning for one area. Oh. Just stay there. Because this wolf is coming for you anyway. Wherever oh, you are. Yeah. No, 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 no. I'm not getting both. I'm not getting both. He's getting it. Not me. He got and, invisible. And, uh, wait, wh- why ne? Hey, this is cruel. Uh. This is so cruel, man. This is just selfish. <laughs> you know that he was going. Now I'm going to get 8 damage, you know. Uh, oh, wait, no, 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 no. no. Hey, that was too much. Uh. That one was unnecessary. I was tank- I'm tanking so much now. <laughs> I'm not gonna Sorry, guys. I retaliate now. I cannot. It's Come too on. much damage. Hey, just chill, just chill. I'm not going to do it. Chill out. Hey everybody, you may have noticed that heated exchange in our last dungeon, the Hounds of Despair, when the Mind Thief chose to go invisible before an oncoming assault and let the scoundrel tank most of the damage. Although Gloomhaven is an excellent cooperative dungeon crawler, there are aspects of the game which inherently spur competition, and possibly friction between players. What are some of the causes of conflict between players, and how best to handle it? This was discussed on Reddit, and thanks to the support and experience of the community over there, we can explore some of them now. To begin with, conflict is quite normal in Gloomhaven. By design, the game has a bunch of mechanics that cause some conflict, such as secret personal quests, secret battle goals, personal XP milestones, and of course, loot. All these components can make some characters act selfishly in order to attain a greater personal goal rather than adhere to the decided upon plan in the dungeon, causing said plan to go awry and people to get upset by this. Interplay dynamics vary depending on the personalities and pressures that individuals have. For groups who like to coordinate every move in a plan together and heavily emphasize the cooperative nature of the game, it's important not to worry about trying to mold every moment, because those factors which spur selfish action are an accepted and expected part of the game. On the other side of things, there are groups who do not play cooperatively at all, and lean in heavily on the competitive nature of the game. The party is meant to be more of a loose mercenary group of acquaintances rather than a group of close friends from a story or thematic point of view. In a more competitive focused games, players do voice their general strategies but in the end each character essentially does their own thing. Further on that scale, there are some groups who literally play without any cohesive plan and are totally independent. Just something to think about. You may want everyone to work together but that's just not how the game is. So clearly not every group is the same, and with so many different playstyles and motivations, one way you could avoid or minimize conflict in game is to clearly lay out expectations before beginning a dungeon run. System wise, you could create a list of principles one could follow. Try to get the table to agree that no one ever has an intrinsic right to demand an explanation from another player about their actions. This is especially true because battle goals are a thing and may not follow your plan. Fundamentally, it's everyone's right at the table to go rogue. Setting expectations early for groups who are new also lets them know that some people may go off the plan and not be too surprised or upset by this. Sometimes the more self-centered actions from one or two characters may cause a scenario loss, but again, that's okay. Making our own choices is a fun part of the game versus being told what to do every step of the way. And you can probably gather some of this from our early playthrough. If you find that you still have issues between players despite this and the group is just not having a good time, then implement house rules. This house rules should be centered around whatever the focus of the conflict is. House rules splitting the loot between all the mercenaries can avoid one player constantly taking all the gold. House rules should improve the enjoyment of the game. The rules as written are there to provide you structure, but not at the expense of enjoyment, which is the primary purpose of playing a game like this in the first place. A final note on looting. Looting seems to be the main cause for angst among players since in the campaign every mercenary keeps the gold they earn for themselves. Looking at the games as a whole, however, it's important to remember that this is just part of the balance or imbalance if you will in the game. Not all classes are equal. Some characters are just better at looting and are built for it. Similarly, other characters are really good at getting XP and are less item dependent. All in all, conflict arises when there is a discrepancy between expectation and reality. The reality is, the game is about a bunch of selfish mercenaries trying to work together but not always succeeding in doing so. That is why those selfish mechanisms exist. If players know what to expect, it will reduce frustration to a degree and allow for better preparation in case things don't go according to plan. 
Once again, we'd like to thank everyone on Reddit for helping contribute to this discussion. We hope you're enjoying the journey so far. Please leave us a like and subscribe if you are. It really helps the channel grow. And now on with the show. Thank you. Thank you for claiming the Bile House. Apollo's return gets site functional. We'll supply a merchant for potions. Blessings of the great oak upon you. Your XP, Ramas, XP fly like that high. Oh, Ramas, that, that fast. That fast, Ramas. Of the great oak upon you. Blessings the great oak upon you. Where y'all? What y'all doing? Hmm? That difficult. I thought Are we, we could escape from pest control. I guess we couldn't. Can we go? Go. I mean, yeah, sure. Um, cut. Harder. What is pest control? Pest control. All enemies. All. all, all yeah, you cannot escape pest control. <laughs> the copper always. The copper is always. <laughs> Thanks so much for joining us in this episode. Please remember to like and subscribe. We'll see you in the next episode, Pest Control.